Hey guys, we are in the basement and today, yesterday guys, on this episode of John's Arcade. Well guys, we are not gonna be working on the Mortal Kombat 2. You know what, let's take a break from that. I feel like the last year all I've done is Mortal Kombat videos. So let's do something kind of light and fun because today, well actually the other day, I got a new Neo Geo game. That's right, a new cartridge for my Neo Geo 4 slot. So in this video here, let's let's check it out. Let's play it, let's have some fun. So, you know, the last couple of weeks here, um, I've been looking for uh, another Neo Geo cartridge. I, I'm kind of bored with the games I have in there now. Um, Cause I've had the same four cartridges in my four slot for about like the last three years, right? So started going on eBay looking for cartridges. Uh, um, I also Googled like top 10 MVS titles. That, by the way, that's the, the, the arcade version is the MVS Neo Geo. And then the home version is the AES. Anyway, so I'm Googling top 10 MVS carts. And there's always like this one game that's on everyone's top 10 list. And of course it is Windjammers. Now I've certainly played Windjammers before. Uh, I haven't spent a lot of time with it. So I thought it'd be fun to get a copy of Windjammer, so I put some feelers out there looking for the title, and my friend Daniel down in Georgia had an extra copy, so I bought it from him, and here it is. And also, you know, it's funny, ever since I started looking for this, then in the last week, they just announced that a Windjammers 2 is coming out on the Switch and PC, like in 2019. Anyway, Daniel sent me the cartridge. Um, it, it turns out it's a full kit. I didn't know that, so Daniel, thank you for the deal here. Um, you also sent some, like, uh, die-cut uh, vinyl stickers, like a, a bootleg Supreme sticker a midway uh, a decal that I actually believe Daniel puts on his plastic bezel uh, on Mortal Kombat's, but we'll see. Maybe we'll incorporate that into the Mortal Kombat Restore later. And then an FJ sticker here, I guess, for my car. So anyway, here's the kit right here. And, and again, Windjammers is a Neo Geo game. It came out in 1994. It was made by Data East. Um, they've released it like on everything. Uh, this is also on the Switch right now. Uh, there's a lot of the uh, SNK and Data East arcade classics on the Switch, and this is one of them. I haven't played it though. So anyway, let, let's check out the kit here and, and see what's going on. This is, uh, as far as I know, is a complete kit here. So we did pretty okay here. So let's take a look. All right, so here is the cartridge, okay? Now we could check to see if this is a bootleg. If you go to MVS scans, uh, this looks pretty legit though. I, I, I'm pretty confident this is not a bootleg. And actually it's my understanding this was not a, one of the games that were bootlegged. But you can go on MVS scans and you could look at the circuit boards to see if it's a bootleg. It's actually a big problem with the uh, MVS games, but I don't think that's gonna be the case here. It looks pretty legit to me. And then also in here we have uh, this large kind of move card and like a little arcade flyer. These larger ones I think might have gone maybe in the um, candy cab type setup. I I'm not sure. But these do not go in like the US version of the uh, Neo Geo. But what does go in there and which is awesome that comes with this kit is this right here. And this is the instruction card that goes in the EL uh, in front of the EL paper up top there. And we'll do that in a second. This one of course is yellowed. They always do. But it's the right material and it's all original. So I'm very, very happy that we have that. And then also in here is a little setting up the soft dip. Uh, so there's soft dip switch settings. You have to go into the menu and you can change some of the settings. We'll probably just leave everything default. So, all right, why don't we go over to the Neo Geo here. Let's put the cartridge in and, and give it a shot. Um, and by the way, if you've never played Windjammers or heard of it, you know, it's a sports game. It's kind of like a, a futuristic sports game. Uh, it's kind of like uh, air hockey or, or frisbee, frisbee hockey, I guess maybe we'll call it. I don't know. So let's go in here. And again, this is a original four slot, kind of the US version in like a dynamo made cabinet, but this is like the legit Neo Geo four slot for the US. Right now I've got King of Fighters 98, Nightmare in the Dark, Bust to Move Again, and Mr. Do. So I guess the question is, which game do we get rid of? Um, hmm. Can't get rid of that one. My wife plays that like crazy. <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking about King of Fighters 98, even though I do enjoy that when I play it. Nightmare in the Dark is kind of great, but repetitive. Maybe we'll get rid of Nightmare in the Dark. Which, which one would you get rid of? I mean, it's just temporary. We're not like throwing it away or anything. So anyway, I, I think we'll pull out Nightmare in the Dark. So let's, let's open this up here. So we've got two little big, great, uh, buckles there. And then you can kind of see in there. So let's turn the game off. And we should be able to do that right from the coin door here. And you can kind of see we've got the four cartridges down there. 
So uh, Nightmare in the Dark is going to be the second one. So let's go ahead and pull that out. And this is a bootleg, um, but it works fine. Don't remember where I got that, maybe on eBay. So let's put our Windjammers cart in. And then with the MVS carts, you know, there's like a little black uh, triangle right here. And that's supposed to be kind of like facing you when, you when you put it in. And also the label, if it's original and put on right, will also be readable from the front of the cabinet. So let's go ahead here and put that in. Sometimes games don't work on my system, at least. Uh, when you put new carts in, sometimes you got to clean the slots. But let's see what happens here. We just turned it on. Turn off the light here. And let's see if it boots. So right now it should be on King of Fighters 98. Um, if you look up here to the EL paper. I have original EL paper behind my mini marquees and they're kind of dim, but they work. All right, so it booted right to Windjammers, so that works. Let's make sure all the carts work. So that's Mr. Do, that's King of Fighters, that is Windjammers, that's Bust to Move again, and then the Visco is Mr. Do. All right, so everything is working great. So why don't we go ahead and change the mini marquee? And by the way, when I was in Georgia at the Southern Fried Game Room Expo, someone built a dedicated Windjammers and we saw that there. So let's go up here. I have to get the keys to change out the marquees. So let me get my keys for the top. So there's two locks here. All right, so let's remove Nightmare in the Dark. And this was actually one that I printed on um, photo paper. Actually, all of these might be photo paper, that ones that I made. No, the Bust and Move again is original. This is not, that's photo paper, that's original, and this, that's photo paper. So two of those are not original, but ones I printed. So let's put in the uh, Windjammers one. All right, let's go ahead and lock this. Okay, so let's try it out. And again, you know, I haven't really spent a lot of time with this game. I played it though. My friend Dan has it on his Neo Geo, and I played him. Um, I think it's one of those like kind of drinking games. You pay, play with a buddy and dollar a game kind of thing. So I don't know how fun it's going to be with just me, but let's let's give it a shot. So, all right, so let's start the game. Ah, uh, there's no sound. We might have to reseat the cart or clean the slot. All right, let's let's turn the game off. And what I want to do, we'll reseat the cartridge first. This happened to me with uh, the Neo Mr. Do Cart 2 had no sound, and I, I deoxided the slot. All right, let's turn it on. I want to make sure we have sound with the other carts too. So let's let it boot up. Let's try bust and move again. I know that sound works on that. Come on. All right, so the sound works. All right, so let's let's give uh, wind jammers a shot again. We might have to get the deoxid out, clean that slot. Come on, winners don't use drugs. There we go. All right, we got sound. Just had to reseat the cartridge. All right, hold the joystick down while pushing the A button to slide and to receive. All right, so versus computer. Well, oh, sounds a little scratchy. Hear that? Card could be dirty. Listen to that, it's like static. Thank <laughs> you. 
Japan vs. UK. So you can see it's kind of like this volleyball-ish hockey game with frisbees. <laughs> Yes! We scored! And you slide. Oh shit, shit, shit! So what does B do? Oh, B is like a lob. Yeah, I could see how this would be fun with, two, with playing against a friend. Especially a buck a game. I guarantee you next time Matt McCarthy comes here, we'll be doing that. 3-3! <laughs> Wait, how... Wait, what? You get three points for a goal? Is that what it is? Oh, oh, you, you, oh, I see. So if you don't catch it, the other team gets two points. Yes. Shit, shit! You gotta catch it. Good show. Three to four. Oh, I stink. <laughs> uh, let's not continue. Let's let's pick a different person. All right, come on, get out of this. Oh, card save. Hmm. So I do have a memory card in my Neo Geo. And by the way, it always says this on the games that support a memory card that, that your card's still inserted because did, you know, if you're in the arcade and you bring your memory card, uh, you want to be reminded of that. All right, let's see if there's any benefit. Oh, I see. For beginner, for beginner, for medium. Should we try this guy for expert? I still hear a little bit of static coming from the speaker up top. I do think... We'll, we'll clean the slot or the cartridge which was with some deoxid before we're done. I'm pretty sure I have some in my bag down here. Alright, so why is this guy an expert? Oh, he's slow. Shoot. He's way slower than the other person. Five points for that. Oh, there's like three sections of the goal. Is that what it is? I see. So if you get it in here, you get three, and then you get five for the little red corners. Is that what it is? Ah! No, they got five points. Did they get in the yellow or what? Wait, what is that? Wait, he tossed it straight up. Oh man, there, there's a lot to this game, isn't there? Oh man. I see you gotta knock them all out. There's that static, I hear it. Now we're on clay. Uh oh, I'm playing myself. Alright. Okay, so I don't quite understand. Oh, the red's in the middle now. I see. I I see. So red is worth five and the yellow is worth three, and the location of those can change. What is that move? Whoa! You, you see that? Sure! Darn it! <laughs> Alright, what is that move where you toss it up? I gotta try that. Jeez, oh Pete! Alright. 
Is there like some kind of power meter or something I'm overlooking? Like what's up here? Oh, it's time. Let's try it again. Ah, I should have picked the medium guy. Right on. Clay. So it's interesting that the different stadiums obviously affect the game because of that little center thing there and where the uh, scoring is. Oh shoot, what was that? I got knocked out. Son of a gun! Nice. So I ricocheted off that thing right there. Ugh, pay attention. <laughs> Is it over? Round set, round two, set two. All right. Son of a gun. Oh, oh. Five to six. Come on. Way to go. I lost. <laughs> Lose. Let's not continue. Should we save it to the card? Is there any benefit for that? Or it's not letting me know. Oh. Data save okay. All right. I I'm gonna get some uh, deoxid here. Let me go grab some. All right, I grabbed some deoxid. I actually have spray and also the liquid. I've used actually both on on, on um, cartridge contacts with pretty good success. So let's turn this off and, and see if we can get rid of uh, that kind of staticky sound we were getting. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some of this on the cart and then we'll kind of reseed it a few times. There's something actually wrong with this sprayer. It doesn't spray if I hold it down. See, it stops, so I have to like kind of pump it on there. All right, so I kind of got it on both sides of the fingers of the little boards that are in there. And then I'm just gonna kind of <coughs> reseed it a few times to kind of clean the slot with the deoxid. It's kind of going in and out a few times. <coughs> And then I'm gonna just kind of let this sit here for a couple minutes and just kind of let it air dry and then we'll come back. All right, it's been a couple minutes here, so it's dry enough. All right, let's give it a shot here. Maybe I'll just reseat it just a couple more times. All right, let's turn it on. Hopefully we still have sound. All right, let's start it. We have sound, card load, sure, why not? So there you go. Uh, the memory card's great too, uh, for like for like uh, baseball stars and stuff, like I started a season on there, so I definitely recommend getting a memory card. The one that I have is not original. I don't wanna pull it out though, because it's hard to get in. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm gonna leave it in there. I'll show it to you in a second. Actually, I'll just show it to you right now. But. The card I have is this one, and again, it's not an original one. I bought it like on the Neo Geo forum. It's a modern one, and it works great, but initially it didn't work for me. And I had to like just kind of find the sweet spot on my reader. Oh, by the way, I didn't notice any staticky sound. Let's pay attention to that. Oh my God. Oh shoot, nice. Man, I can't wait till Matt comes over, honestly. I can see this is gonna be very fun with him. <laughs> oh, 
Jeez. Oh my god, that thing in the middle. Oh! I'm getting <laughs> annihilated here. Son of a... What is he doing? <laughs> Steve Miller. All right, let's try. Oh, I hear some of the static. It seems to only do it right here. Round two. was that? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Where, where did it go? Did it knock me out? Oh, it crashed right through him. Let's try one more. So, I see. So, what it saved was that the fact that we beat that guy. So that would be fun then to try to eliminate all of them one by one and it doesn't matter like who you play as as long as you eliminate them. Alright, we're going to eliminate this dude. Oh, son of a... Oh no. Yes. Yes. I really want to beat this dude. Oh, come on, no. Ah. Three, three. Son of a... Yeah. Three, two seconds left. Come on, we got it. All right. I won. All right, so we eliminated that dude, right? Oh, bonus round. What's this? What do I do? What is this? Oh, that's funny. What am I supposed to do here? It's like track and field. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really doing anything. I'm pressing the button. That's funny. 125 meter. Okay, so now we eliminated two dudes. Son of a gun. I'm starting to get into this now. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I'm really 
screwing up. All right, zero one. Round three. Duck did it. Oh my God, I'm getting my butt handed me here. We lost. <laughs> what would you guys think? I, I think we get the idea here. So let's save our game. So we, we're, we're making a game save where we eliminated two guys. So it'd be kind of a, it's gonna be a fun little challenge uh, to get rid of all of them. So let's save. All right, I wanted to actually take a look up here at the instruction sticker. It says, dynamic, speedy, and exciting actions. This is a flying power disc game to move uh, character, use a joystick obviously, to throw and receive disc, push joystick and press button A for sliding and receive, to lob disc, good for faint attack, vertical throw when with super tech, huh? It says one point advice, sooner throw disc, higher the speed, the longer disc caps shorter and lob shot a faint attack. Interesting. So maybe there's a way that I could have just thrown it up on my own and just kind of like and slammed it. This little mini game thing was kind of cute. So, all right, guys, that was Windjammers for the Neo Geo MVS. What'd you think, huh? I, I think it's actually a great addition. So, so Daniel, thanks for selling me the game. Uh, that's going to be in there for a long time, I think. <laughs> so, all right, let's do some viewer mail. If you guys want to participate in the viewer mail, you got to email them to me at john at johnsarcade.com. That's john at johnsarcade.com. And again, by the way, that game's on the Switch. Uh, so you can play it right now. I, don't, I, I doubt there's online play against other players, but that would be cool. That's probably what Windjammers 2 is going to uh, bring uh, to the PC and the Switch in 2019. All right, here we go. Uh, first one, again, john at johnsarcade.com. Can be a question, comment, whatever. Uh, this one is from Michael. It says, strange question. Can you play a Donkey Kong PCB somehow in a versus cabinet? Well, uh, the short answer is no, uh, because the, the, the wiring uh, harness, the pinout, is not the same. Uh, Donkey Kong, especially the original ones, used a bunch of little connectors, um, but it did have an edge connector that, that does work, and you can use that on the later model cabinets. But anyway, uh, Nintendo Versus cabinets have two board stacks and two edge connectors, and those pinouts, as far as I know, are not even close. And also, don't forget... Uh, uh, the Nintendo Versus games are horizontal games, okay, so you have a horizontal monitor and a different harness. So you could convert a uh, Versus cabinet to Donkey Kong if you got a new harness. Um, and actually a lot of the, uh, a lot of the Donkey, uh, a lot of the Nintendo Versus cabinets that are out there were originally Donkey Kongs. And actually my Donkey Kong 3, which I did sell, uh, when I got that, it was converted to, uh, I think, versus baseball, or maybe it was RBI, and I deconverted it uh, back to the Donkey Kong harness and put a Donkey Kong 3 board in there. So, anyway, yeah, you can, you can convert them. You have to rotate the monitor and also get a new connect, uh, harness. Uh, moving on. Um, let's see here. Um, hey, bro, uh, I love your show. I got a question, though. Um, Okay, this is another Donkey Kong kind of uh, question here. Hey, bro, I love the show, man. I got a question, though. I tried to sand and fill nicks and dents on my original Donkey Kong cabinet and didn't put enough hardener in it. I, I'm, I'm guessing he's talking about Bondo, which is a two-part uh, solution. Uh, so he didn't put enough of the hardener in. Uh, this was several years ago, and now that I'm revisiting it, uh, the same issue is happening that I kept me from finishing it. Sanding it uh, gets it gummy and uh, causes it uh, ever so slightly soft because it's too soft. But it's too hard to scrape off. What can I do? Oh man, it sounds like you gotta get that stuff off of there. Now you can see on my Donkey Kong Jr., I, I did a little bit of a touch-up job on here a long time ago with Bondo. I didn't do a very good job. It was one of my first Bondo jobs ever. And uh, I did this about 10 years ago. But you know, I had little nicks and dings and holes here 
and I filled this in with Bondo and, and sanded it as smooth as I could and then used some orange paint to touch it up and it's actually a pretty good match. But you, you're saying that when you bondo this, you, you didn't put enough hardener in there and it's just soft, gummy substance that's on your cabinet. I mean, really, you gotta get it off. You, you ha it'll come off, it has to come off. So get your scraper and just go to town on there and get the old uh, bondo off and redo it. Y it'll come off eventually. It's probably super annoying and it's gummy up the sander and it doesn't wanna come off with the scraper, but you gotta get it off. It will come off eventually, so give it a shot. All right, moving on here. Let's do some more viewer mail. And yes, my battery just died. <laughs> you know, I, I got a new light. I don't know if it's as bright or as good as my last one. My last one broke. Um, but the last two videos, the battery's been dying on me in the middle. And luckily, I had another battery charged. All right, moving on. Uh, this one's from Chris. Uh, hey, John, I just want to drop you a line and say thanks for helping me for the last few years. I started watching your channel about three years ago when I had bought a broken Miss Pac-Man and was trying to fix it. Um, I watched through your entire Pac-Man Cabaret Restore and it gave me the insight to fix my machine, especially reading and writing bad EEPROMs. Since then, I have bought and restored about 30 machines from scratch. It's crazy. I always keep your videos on as inspiration while I'm working on the games. It helps to see every detail of the restore. And, and your videos have been the basis for my video game restoration knowledge. Well, thanks, man. Uh, um, we're all learning together, really. <laughs> this hobby has now turned into a career for me. I took all the games I had restored and I opened a video game bar in the Central Florida area a few weeks ago. Dude, congratulations. Um, thank you again for all the hard work you put in the videos. Please stop by forever in Central Florida. I'll buy you a beer. Keep up the awesome work, Chris. P.S. I have included photos of my workshop, a.k.a. my kitchen dining area, and also a photo of my arcade bar. All right, here, uh, let's check out his place in his kitchen. Here you go. Wow, Chris, uh, it looks like you're working on monitors in the kitchen there, and your arcade bar looks amazing, dude. I, I see my video playing in the background there. So congratulations, Chris. Um, didn't mention the name of the arcade. Uh, did he? No. So I guess if you guys are in Central Florida, maybe you could find Chris's... Uh, uh, his bar. He didn't say the name of it though, but congratulations on the arcade bar. Uh, moving on. This one's from Terry. John, I love your channel. Uh, you inspired me to build my first arcade game, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And since then, I got a gauntlet for 50 bucks on Craigslist. But the other day, while talking to a customer of mine, she asked what hobbies I was into. And then I showed, uh, when I showed her the pics of my recently finished MK3, she says, well, you would love this pinball I have in the basement. It's a 1976 Chicago a coin Hollywood pinball uh, this w wonderful person then gave it to me for free because she wanted to make sure uh, make more room in her basement that's right John I got it for free that's awesome also there's not even a single bulb out it works perfect 100% get the Bronco working brother I love this channel and the podcast keep it up man check out these pictures so here's some pictures of this Chicago coin Hollywood pinball and also is Mortal Kombat 3 right here so yeah man that's awesome a free pinball why not <laughs> so looks really good and so does your Mortal Kombat 3 so thanks and yes the Bronco I know I do want to get in that garage. You know, fall is in the air here. <laughs> we got to finish Mortal Kombat, but you know, it was nice taking a break in this video and doing something a little lighthearted. Um, but we'll get we'll get to we'll finish Mortal Kombat hopefully in one more video, and then we can start looking at other stuff we got to do down here, like fix iRobot. Oh my God, that that battery just died. <laughs> All right, this light is eating up batteries, apparently. So, All right, guys, uh, I, I think we are uh, done here. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, if you guys have yet to check out my podcast, Video Game Outsiders at Video Game... Out and by the way, the bulb on this light appears dead, too. Uh, if you have yet to ch uh, check out my podcast, Video Game Outsiders at VideoGameOutsiders.com, please do so. Uh, we do that show every Tuesday uh, live. You just go to VideoGameOutsiders.com. And if you missed the live show, uh, you can go to iTunes or Google Play and download our app. Uh, just search for Video Game Outsiders. The podcasts are uh, the, the, you know, the big podcast, the weekly podcast, is free. And you can listen for free on the app. And there's also bonus content. We do about three to five extra podcasts a, a week that are on the app if you subscribe for two bucks uh, a month. But go get the app. Go to VideoGameOutsiders.com. And other than that, that's it, guys. I'll see you very soon send your viewer mail to john at johnsarcade.com and next video i will make sure that all of my light batteries are fully charged <laughs> i'm not really digging this new light so far I, it seems to be eating batteries so anyway all right guys that's it i'll see you very soon later and bye